All right, welcome back to Shifting to Solids. Today we're going to be talking about the Revolve tool. So if you go ahead and follow me up here to the top, we'll see last week we did Extrude. This week we're going to be talking about Revolve. So Revolve, that shortcut key is going to be Shift and W. Um, and it, what it says is to create, add to, subtract from, or intersect parts um, by revolving sketch regions or planar faces about a central axis. So we need to pick an axis and we're going to rotate a shape around it. Um, easiest way to remember this is if we were to be looking at like a, um, a piece of cake, right? If I were to cut a slice of cake and I drew what that cake looked like between all those layers, the innermost piece of that cake that's at the center could be my axis. And essentially I'm rotating that rectangle shape of that layer around and it's going to give me a circle. So we'll, we'll draw some geometry um, and kind of show how that works. But for today, what we're going to do is we're going to get started by starting a sketch. We're going to press shift and S on our uh, keyboard. Today, we're actually going to pick the front plane instead of the top plane. So we'll do that. Uh, remember, N to normalize that view and P to hide those planes. Okay. So um, we can go ahead and start drawing some geometry. So we're going to draw a line, letter L on our keyboard, but we're going to press letter Q to turn it to a construction line. And actually, I would like to use this midpoint line feature. It's, it's something new that I always got to tell myself exists. Um, it's something I wish was there from the get-go, uh, but they didn't add until about a couple, I want to say it was about a month ago now. So we'll keep that. And then for today's drawings, um, it's not really important that you have dimensions, uh, like specific, specified dimensions. We're just drawing some shapes so you can get the idea of how this works. So, um, I said this is similar to a sketch uh, like of a cake, but if you were to imagine this, if you're an 80s or a 90s kid, I want you to think about the skip it toy, you know, the thing you put around your ankle, that little ring, and you just keep spinning it around, kind of like a hula hoop for your foot. Um, I'd used it a lot. My cousin had one, and my wife had one when she was a kid, and everybody, you know, you can't see if you could get the high score. But essentially, the way that worked was your ankle was that axis that that ball would then spin around. Okay. So, what we're going to do. I'm going to draw a circle kind of just off here. We'll call it three. On this point, I'm going to draw a rectangle kind of here. And we'll draw, uh, we'll do another circle that's split by this uh, line here in the center. So we're only going to draw half. Okay. So, if we were to say, okay, we could click the screen check mark, but remember Revolve is one of those tools that is one of your most common 3D um, tools, 3D features. So it exists right here in our 2D sketch, which is cool because now I can click Revolve from here. Okay. Now the problem is, is it's trying to revolve all three of these shapes, but it doesn't know what it's trying to revolve around. So it's going to tell me, hey, you picked some stuff, but now what are we revolving around? So I got to pick an axis. So I'm going to pick this center axis right here. Okay. The reason nothing's happening is because we have some geometry that's going to conflict. So try to do this one at a time. So if I pick this circle, you'll see that I'm now revolving around that center axis. Okay. And if I pick this rectangle, I now have a similar thing. You'll see that that shape gets turned into a revolve of that based off of that axis right there okay if i were to delete that axis and pick the other axis you'll notice that it doesn't like it that circle can't work but this rectangle now can okay so you'll see we get similar geometry or the exact same geometry but you get a completely different shape based off of what that revolve was now, some of you might be wondering why that circle here didn't work when I picked this axis, but it did work with this axis. Well, it goes into the, how the design of Onshape works, okay? So if we do here and we look, it's trying to do a full rotation. What's going to happen is if I do a full rotation of that circle around that axis, it's using both halves of that circle, and they're going to end up making two full circles that exist in the same space. So what needs to happen 
is if I pick this as my revolve axis, we'll go with my vertical. And the face I'm going to do, notice when I drew this circle, I cut it in half. Okay. This one, I didn't draw a half line. This one, I drew a special line in the center. So if I do only half of the circle, you'll see I get it like that. And if I do this, I'll get that donut because of how it's spaced off of that origin, right? But if we do just that one piece, it'll revolve like it's supposed to. If I click both pieces, you'll see it doesn't like that and it won't let it happen. So when you're doing this, if you're struggling, happened to me when I first started, I kept clicking. I was like, why isn't this thing working? It's because I had it as a full uh, round, okay? The other thing you can do is you can come down and go one direction. So let's say I wanted to slice. I could tell it, hey, I want a 45 degree slice or even a 90 degree slice of that. And it'll it'll go around, but I want it to maybe flip the other direction, okay? So you can do that. You can do symmetric. So if I tell it 90, it's gonna use my drawing as a split of that. So if I said 180, you'll see I'll get half of that. Um, but it's going to put 90 on each side. Let's say it's a weird number like 72.567. It'll do that as well and it'll split it perfectly down that middle. So symmetric works pretty well. And then two directions. Let's say I needed it to go that 72.567 one way, but I needed it to go to the other side to 232.011, right? Whatever. I can then mix that, let's go from that top view, I can pick the way, how far I want it to go, okay? Same thing with that other side. So that's how you use those. So full, one direction, one direction, symmetric, and two directions. Honestly, I use full probably more than anything, and I just get myself to draw in a certain uh, way to make that happen as such. So let's delete that face, and let's bring this guy back. So again, depending on the axis I pick, I might make different geometry. So here, this looks like a washer uh, from using the uh, vertical z-axis. But if I switch it to a uh, my x-axis, you'll see I get more like a, still kind of looks like a washer, but it's a lot thicker, maybe like a, like a spacer or a... Um, like a roller, like a part, part of a bearing or something. So kind of interesting, some geometry you can get just by doing that revolve feature. Um, we're going to go ahead and save that. I'm going to go back to my sketch and we're going to edit that circle just a little bit. So I'm going to delete these two, get rid of this line in the center. And let's, let's edit some things on this rectangle. Yeah, we have a basic rectangle, but I'm going to show you kind of what we can do. So if I were to add a fillet to this corner, and we'll go make that 0.75. And I'm going to take a circle here and just kind of cut some stuff out like that. And then we'll add some grooves and cuts like this just to give it some character. So we'll delete those with the trim tool, letter M. So now I have this shape, right? We go back. Now you'll see I've already used that revolve and I'm starting to get some pretty crazy geometry. Um, what it's doing is it's wrapping that around this. Now let's see what that would look like if we picked a different axis. Okay. So there's some things you might be drawing and you're like, man, I have no idea how to wrap my head around how to make this. The geometry might be the same across the board, okay? If we look from the underside, you'll see I have a nice little channel here as well because of that circle that we cut out. Um, but what's cool about the revolve is again, we can do the revolve here and then I can do it all in one part. But let's say I wanted another circle. So I'm going to hide my part really quick, turn my sketch one back on. And this time we're gonna draw from the right side plane. So I'm gonna start another sketch, normal. And I'm just gonna draw, uh, we'll go here. And we'll 
we'll draw a line that goes this way. Let's make a ring that kind of goes about there. All right, so now we're gonna do another revolve, but this time we're gonna use this face. We'll turn our part back on so it can see. And you will see that when we revolve this, if we revolve it around this axis, it is going to intersect. So just like when we did extrude, there's add and there's remove. So if I want this to be a part of this piece, I would say add, merge with all, and it'll become one part. Maybe I want holes cut out so I can click remove. Now I have some slots perfect for that spot to go within. And again, same thing, one direction, um, symmetrical, two directions, but for this example, we're gonna do uh, full. I can also do intersect. And what's cool about intersect is it's gonna give you what's left. So that's kind of hard to get focused. If I were to put those two parts together, instead of merging them and making one, I'm gonna be left with these two pieces. So there might be a time where you do it once, but then you revolve it again and you want that intersection saved separate. So I can have these two parts, but now I don't have my ring that those mate with. So I'd wanna go back and do like a third revolve to keep that, that top piece. But for what we're doing, let's just do a, a remove. And now you'll see, we'll shut those planes off. I have those holes perfectly cut to catch a ring that's supposed to go through there. Maybe it's a routing for a hose or a line or whatever, but you're able to do that like such. So some pretty cool things you can do with that revolve feature. Um, one of the things I wanted to show you guys, um, if you ever done my packets or if you were in that training, like I said, a couple weeks ago, we did, some of you guys made it this far to that PA number four corner jig. This is a really cool one to do if you let the kids draw it or if you draw it and then you come back and reintroduce it after they've already had it drawn. Um, I do this on our, our, sh our short days, our Wednesdays that we have at school. This is a really cool way to revolve because there's so many different axes, axes and you can use these lines to work. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw this. I will post this drawing in the description. You'll be down in, in the bottom if you look. There'll be a link there that you can download this and do a practice drawing. Um, but what I'm going to do is draw this up in, in, in another part studio really, really quickly. Uh, we'll draw this one on the front plane, shift S, N to normalize, P to hide those planes. We'll get started with a line up 18.34 over 44 up 18. I'm going to go over 30, down 10, over, down 20. This has to be 42, but I got to give it an angle. This needs to be 46. This is 9.78. And this just comes up, and that's the question you're supposed to find. Um, so, we give this a dimension of 144 and give this an overall dimension from here to here of 50. We have our shape. So if we go to revolve, again, shift W, we're gonna click this face, but this time we didn't draw any revolve axes. And if we look at our planes, the only one that lines up is that line there. So when we pick our axis, I can actually pick any of my lines in the shape that I drew, which is really cool. So if I click this part, you'll see I get some sort of, and if you take this slider here, you can make the, the geometry a little more transparent or less transparent, depending on how much you slide it. Sometimes it's kind of cool for the kids to see like, oh, that's how that part was made. So if you look down underneath, you'll see I have a nice kind of domed, dish like a countersink that doesn't go all the way through because there's no termination point there um but i get this ledge and that's because i picked this line now what if i picked a different line let's go about this axis well now you're getting some sort of collared like a collet 
type deal. Pick another axis. Let's do this one right here. And it won't do it because it's going to terminate across itself. But if I did this one, you'll get a bigger dish, kind of similar geometry, but a little bit uh, skewed. If I go around this axis, it won't work. If I go around this axis, it won't work. So it's kind of cool if you give it to some kids and let them play with what will and won't work and then see who can come up with the coolest thing. Um, one of the ones I like to do it was this. Yeah, so here you get kind of more of a domed, kind of like maybe like a tip for something. Obviously, these, these dimensions being 50 inches across at some parts, uh, it's not going to be the tip for uh, anything handheld that we're using. Um, but you get the idea to kind of play with it. I know one of them we did started looking like a pulley. Um, now I can go back into my sketch and I can add or remove some parts, right? So I could come in here. Like I said, we add a circle. Let's cut that out. And... Let's do from here to here. And we'll cut that out. Now with that revolve, you're starting to get some like way cooler geometry. You'll see it, you can add those fillets. So if you're doing something like a screw, maybe you're making a bolt or you need a special pin and you have a 3D printer or you're doing lathe work, you can make your stuff on here fairly quickly. Um, biggest thing to remember is when you are doing that revolve to make sure, let's go back to our part studio one, make sure you're only selecting, um, part of it. I know when I first started learning how to do drafting, uh, a lot of the times I would use the mirror feature because it was the same thing. And then if I were to do the revolve, uh, it's, I'd want to click both and remember you're like, oh, why is it not working? I watched this video. I did this. I learned how to do it. It's because it can't revolve a full part of itself twice. So if you were to click this axis, it's going to freak out because it can't do it if I pick both pieces. So remember, only pick half and then revolve around the axis that you want to be there. Again, I'll put this up. If you guys want to screenshot that or uh, download it in the description down below, I will have that for you. Um, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are getting some good practice. I've noticed I'm getting a lot more subscribers. Um, if you are interested in like some one-on-one -on -one trainings or some some help or some tutorials or whatever, shoot me a message. Um, we got some things going. You know, we're slowing down for school a little bit. Uh, we, we're wrapping up Thanksgiving break here, but, uh, Christmas breaks come in and if there's something you need help with, I got people calling me all the time, but if that's something you'd be interested in, maybe like a one-on-one -on -one class, a couple hours over a zoom call, uh, shoot me an email, send me some, write a comment down below or whatever. Just let me know what you're into and we'll get after it again. If you have any ideas for future projects, put that in the comments as well. Other than that, I will see you guys later. Thanks.